could it be lucky? Alright, ready whenever you are, mate. Right, ready? And our winner tonight is. Not the board. Number four. Who's number four? <laughs> Who was number four? To the point Not where me. you have my number. Four. Didn't he unite all the traitor four. legions against the Emperor? We've got one number four. He unite against the Emperor's children. Number four. Number four. Mel. Mel wins. Woo! Okay. Uh, right. Welcome to this week's food for thought. Uh, our unlucky contestant today is Mel. Say hi. Why unlucky? She comments hi. Uh, and playing for the shop is Barry, who's going to try and deny Mel some of the delicious foods that yes. they have on awesome. offer. Um, try something slightly different this week, still trying to keep the questions geek themed as possible. What are you looking for? How am I looking at the cards? It's me! Uh, we have lots of questions this week, which is why there are two cards. Um, <laughs> no, it's just that the writing's really long. Oh, alright. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this week's theme uh, is about some of the um, the careers, uh, TV and movie show highlights of some of our geek patrons of movie theatre, which is Nick Frost and Simon Pegg. So depending on how much you know about them, the stuff they've done, we'll see. Both of you give me looks like you don't even know who they are. I know who they so, are. Um, okay, well that's I a good totally start. <laughs> Well, maybe a skinny Shut one. Shut up! A, skin, oh, a skinny yes, one. Yes, I take that. Yeah, cool. Minus three points for Barry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. This might be a total failure, but um, we'll see. So uh, we start with get question to the guest uh, who is playing for the plate. Put her meal on. There we go. Nice That's fancy, delivered uh, nicely. Fancy I like that. This week as well. Okay. Give us a twelve. <laughs> Off camera. And he did as well. <laughs> All right, okay. Professional. <laughs> okay, so question one to Mel. Uh, so in the pop culture filled TV show Spaced, uh, what name is given to the, or homage name is given to the comic firm that Tim's character wants to work for? I don't know who Tim is. I've never heard of Spaced. Spaced. Oh, wow, okay. So. <laughs> I've heard of it, I don't know it. Um, you don't know like your question either then. <laughs> Bob's Burgers. <laughs> no, not at all. No. I think that's wrong. <laughs> no, not really. No, the answer is uh, Dark Star Comics in homage to Dark Horse Comics. Um, we'll still do your question anyway because we want to see if you can get something right as well. You don't win the plate. <laughs> oh, shame! Uh, so, well, it is because uh, if you win the quiz, <laughs> you don't get them in the bag. So also, the also in the TV show space, um, Nick Frost's character is desperate to join the army but he can't. What's the reason given as to why he can't? Flat foot. No. I was going to say <laughs> asthma. No, no, he has detached retinas. Oh, that's different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. There was a bonus question if you got that one right, but you didn't get that one right. So we move What's on. What's the answer? AIDS. No. Oh. <laughs> but good try. Oh. So far off the mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Round two of questions then. Uh, first one to Mel. Uh, so in the... the crisps. Uh, oh, yes, for the crisps. Slide them on in. Woo! For a packet of pom there. Okay, in the... You uh, use your hands again. They're very feminine. <laughs> Sorry, man. Okay, in the uh, close encounters of the nerd kind film, Paul. Have you seen Paul? No! Okay. <laughs> I have. Okay. Just um, give me a win. Uh, but you might not get this either. Okay, who, so in that film, who is the author of the Jenny Star Pepper series of books that includes The Jupiter Practice, Night of the Moths, and Flux in Uranus? What the fluff? No, no, you know, no, I thought you'd seen the films. No, I've seen the film. I didn't study the film. <laughs> Sean Pegg's wife, I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> Adam Shadowchild was the name of the author for those who, uh, who were like We're to start studying It's an amazing this. film. Oh, Seriously, yeah. watch Paul. Watch Paul. It's amazing. You know that, did you? Good man. No, you did Good not. Good man. Okay. Is there anything about Hot Fuzz on there? Oh, There's actually yeah. not. No, I didn't oh, do Hot Fuzz. That's the only film I've ever seen! Hot okay, so question two, round two, question two. The see if you can answer Sean it anyway. Pegg okay. And Nick so Frost film. What is, the, what is the defining characteristic uh, of the character on the front of the comic book that the characters in Paul are trying to get published? Got boobs. Ooh. Breast. I mean. Big chest. Uh, Three of them. Yeah, there you go. Oh! As is frequently referenced in the film, she has three tits. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. epic. Okay, all right. Okay, question round three. Uh, Simon oh. Pegg. Uh, oh, uh, for, <laughs> the, for the bottom of the coat. 
This has gone so You're wrong. Right. This has <laughs> gone so wrong. I thought you'd go at least some of these. Uh, so Simon Pegg uh, starred in and helped co-write some of the most recent Star Trek movies. What character did he play <gasps> in the movie? I've never I'll watched this. Star Trek! I've got this. I've never watched any Star Trek! I, I've never just What was the question? So he wrote and starred in big Star Trek movies. Big what character did he play in Star Trek films? I almost said Han Solo, but that's Star Wars. Oh. I know that much. <laughs> oh. um, Damn. The only name I know for Star Trek is Picard, so Picard? No. It was. Scotty. It was Scott. It was Chief Engineer Montgomery Scott. Alright. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, okay. This is a cheap mic for us. I think Barry will do your question anyway. So, uh, Peg also had a role in a Doctor Who episode called The Long Game. Why uh, have I got this question? Why can I have Star Trek one? <laughs> where he worked on Satellite 5 for the Mighty Dragon Fest of the Holy Hadrogenic Max and Rogan Folk. What was his character's name? <laughs> Jim. No. Uh, <laughs> Did you know? No! Okay, he was the editor. Oh, that's right. Wow. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, I think was I made it, these questions too hard. It was not Jim, no, he was known as the editor. That was the only... Jim the editor? Did. No. <laughs> Definitely not Jim, Barry. Definitely not, not Jim. Jim. What about with a G? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Gaim either. <laughs> <laughs> no. If I can okay. hard enough, maybe I can destroy the evidence of this <laughs> Okay, question four, round four, question four from Bell. Uh, Come in on, the, uh, for the you are not for the case. No, I'm really not. I'm really not. I'm really not. So, uh, in the classic zong rom com however you want to arrange those, Sean and Ed. I've heard of it! Okay. You've already <laughs> heard! Uh, what is the name of the pub that Sean and Ed take their group to, to have a pint until it all yeah, blows over? I know this! Can I answer it? No! Come on! No! Yeah. Please! I know mean, there's a sequel to like, isn't there? Like, oh, well, or something, so... No. No! I don't know, well then! No. It was... The Winchester! Winchester! <laughs> No cake for you, man. Oh. <laughs> 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 you should have done one I'm good, man. I'm good. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's have your question anyway. So, uh, at the end of Shaun of the Dead, the final scene is Shaun goes outside to the shed, but what does he do in the shed? Oh, plays computer games. With? Ed. Who is a? Zombie. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Man, man knows that one at least, so. Oh, All right, okay. Man, no two them questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I meant to bring in a pen and a post-it note for this one because I was going to each have you write down the estimate like we've done with the last question every time. So I smashed you that round. <laughs> Wait, that means I've got a chance. <laughs> okay, so I want each of you to Should estimate. Each of you to estimate uh, how many acting credits you think Sean Pegg and uh, uh, Sean Pegg, <laughs> Simon Pegg, and Nick Frost have between them. Between them, as in, in can be individual ones. Yes, yes, yes. So if you took if you took their IMDb pages and their acting credits on each, how many uh, how many credits do you think? And they have TV series this would count as one. Yes. Not individual episodes. Not individual episodes. No. Do I get to guess first? How's that working? Yeah. Well, we've done that before, haven't we? I mean, I was going to have you write them down so that he can just like. Okay, so you have to get them, or are we just going to go for it? So. Let's get the post-it notes and make it fair. We'll, we'll okay. chop and change there. Let's get. Um, I'll whisper your mind. Yeah? Mind? Okay, yeah. alright. Alright, Barry, you'll, you can each whisper me and then we'll, we'll see. Yeah? Okay. I like your face. <laughs> <laughs> I like your face too. But you still have to answer the question. Alright, cool. I think I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> well, just make well, I had already going to guess in my head, so I will go with what I was going to say. Okay, well, you don't have to whisper no, me. I was, yeah. his. I was going to go at 80. Mel's actually the closest. It's 155. <laughs> <laughs> so Mel wins the toasty <laughs> of her choice. Uh, nothing else tonight. <laughs> I want well something. Done, well done. Well done. Well done. You should not have a toasty. Oh. You may have won a toasty, no. but you've clearly lost your dignity. <laughs> 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 Says the man who ate cake off of a table a few weeks ago. <laughs> we still, oh, I still have the video of that. <laughs> Watch for the gag reel at some point. <laughs> yeah, <not really>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks to Mel, thanks to Barry. Um, Bye. I, clearly, we need easier questions, you know, next time, so... Um, I've got... Yeah. I, I've done all right. <laughs> oh, just a better contestant. I've got four. Yeah.